In the field of motion control, the process of using two or more motors to subscribe a geometric path is termed interpolation. A straight line path connecting two points is called linear interpolation. More complex interpolation, including circular interpolation, is generally accomplished by means of traversing a number of approximating linear interpolations end-to-end. -end. We have discussed how a stepper motor can overcome inertial forces resisting acceleration within the boundary of a small shaft rotation, which is to say one step position. Thus stepper motors can be considered to start moving from step to step at an instantaneous rate. We have also discussed how the motor can be made to accelerate from its initial instantaneous rate to a higher speed and then decelerate to a stop. The time between the first and second pulse defines the instantaneous starting rate, and the time between the last and next to last pulse defines the instantaneous stopping rate. Motors can be coupled to control linear stages situated at right angles, like on our demo machine. If the indexer makes two of these motors start, accelerate, run, and decelerate to a stop in an identical manner, thus moving each stage the same, a straight line path will be interpolated at a 45 degree angle, as shown here. The angle of interpolation can be varied by proportionally varying control over the speeds and acceleration of one motor with respect to the other. Another way of visualizing linear interpolation is to view the relationship between the positions of each motor advancing from step to step as if they were connected by gears. The motors would start together, stop together, and maintain a linear path along the way regardless of speed. Thus the ratio between the completed number of steps for the stages determines the interpolated angle. This is the most helpful method of visualizing how indexer LPT controls speeds and acceleration during the interpolation process. For its multiple axis move command, indexer LPT automatically selects the motor that is being moved the greatest number of steps to be dominant. This means that the configured values for starting speed, acceleration, and running speed for this motor governs its motion from start to completion as if it were the only motor that was being controlled. The other motors, up to six, are slaved to this dominant axis as if connected by gears. Thus all motors start together, finish together, and subtend a proportional distance to each other throughout the extent of the motion. G-Code Controller translates rapid traversal G01 commands into indexer LPT's move command since it is the most time efficient method to get all motors from one position to another. Rapid traversal is not the best method to control something like a cutting tool, however, because using this method, the speed of the tool across the work is dependent on the angle of the interpolated line. Here is an exaggerated example. A 10 centimeter excursion at a constant rate of 10 centimeters per second takes one second. But if two axes were being moved together, the tool travels over roughly 41% more distance in that second thus moving 41% faster. Indexer LPT's feed command regulates the speed of the tool across the work by automatically scaling the speed of the dominant axis according to the geometry of the straight line path that is being subtended. This is called vector rate control. G-Code Controller uses Indexer LPT's feed command for operations that typically require vector rate control, which is to say, motion controlled under G01, G02, and G03 command modes. Indexer LPT automatically compensates for the effect that the geometry has on the tool speed in two and three dimensions. The regulated feed rate is called vector speed. Since controlling vector speed necessarily spans multiple axes, Indexer LPT's configuration for feed rate starting speed, acceleration, and vector speed apply to all axes of motion, not to each axis individually as in rapid traverse type motion. This G-Code Controller Job Setup dialog allows you to configure these values using familiar units. The vector speed can also be modified along the tool path using the F command inside of the G-Code script. The feed shift field in this dialog will be discussed in the next session. As mentioned, 
When end-to-end -end linear interpolations are made to approximate complex paths like curves and arcs, it is generally called contouring. Each transition point presents its own particular challenge, since not only does the path of motion change instantly, but the speeds of each motor as well. The next session, entitled Contouring, explains how Indexer LPT accommodates these transitions smoothly and reliably.